All right guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So, back out here on the range again today, and uh, I finally was able to do it. I've been searching for like two years, trying to score one of these uh, big block targets for the backyard. I finally found one on Marketplace, drove over there this morning, picked it up. So now we're gonna set it up down here on the range. It's gonna be my long range target. It is a little used but I got a really good deal on it and there's definitely way more life left into it than, you know, I think what the guy really thought. So good deal for me. So we're going to set it up, maybe step back, get a few arrows in at some longer ranges. I think I might change my sight scope out today and put that four pin slider back in, um, get ready to go to Utah. But uh, yeah, let's get this thing unloaded. Let's get it set up. I am stoked I finally have one. This is the target. It's definitely a little worn in some spots, but like this whole bottom section, there's been no arrows through it. And then on the back side here, it's actually pretty stiff. Um, there's no real soft spots. So like I said, it's, it's a damn good target for what I paid for it. And I paid not a lot of money for it. So I'm happy to have it. I think I might, flip it over so and get this X all the way in the top corner but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it on the stand because I do have some overhanging limbs especially when I get back and if I start to really like arc arrows in here from a hundred plus um, I, I would want the target a little lower to the ground I think but I do like the stand that it's on hmm All right guys, so we're gonna change this out today. I shot the small UV scope housing in Total Archery Challenge in Tennessee. And I do have one of the new multi-pin scopes that they have, so I wanna put this in. Me personally, I like shooting a like horizontal pin slider. Uh, I like to have my sight set to like 20, 30, 40, and 50, whatever this bottom pin's gonna be. I know on the HHA, all four pins slide, but on this only three of them do, so. We're just gonna set these 20, 30, 40, and then I'll probably put a little piece of tape and mark whatever that bottom pin is, and that'll be it. So let's get this thing off, let's get the new one on, and let's go out here and throw some bombs out at this new target. All right, I'm gonna head out here to 30 yards and uh, just get a rut while, eh, yeah, I got a big enough target now. This block target should stop it at 30 if I miss. It shouldn't be that far off. 
We're gonna find out though. Let's see how close we guessed. Okay, the windage is way off. Height is, elevation is really good, but I am way to the right. That didn't do anything. It'd help if I move the site the correct way. If it's hitting right, move it to the right. I think we got it walked in left to right. I'm just a tick high. So I'm just gonna move this wheel. I'm gonna cut two yards off it. We'll shoot this group again, and then we'll move up to 20 and actually move the top pin. Check this out. It's a good little group at 30. All right, this is 20. So let's see how far this is off. So we're actually going to move this top pin up. Slap a knox. Yeah, just still a little, just a little lower than I want to be. Yeah. All right. Happy with that. Let's go back to 40 and get 40 settled in, and then everything else should be the same. It's the same weight arrow. So same arrow. So the sight tape should be exactly the same. I shouldn't have to change anything there. All right, this is 40. I guess I'll start with the pin just where it's at. It's probably gonna be a little high. Just getting a little bit of peep twist. Trending to the top half of the dot on this one. One of them I knew broke a little high, but. Yeah, just a little high. So we will move this pin. Yeah, started high and just kind of walked it back in. So left and right grouping is good. It's pretty straight. This was my first one, my second, my third, my fourth, and my fifth. Um, I think between these two, this one felt a little low on the break and this one felt a little right. So overall, I'm happy with that. Uh, it's, it's good. So we'll just, I'm just gonna shoot, just walk back and figure out where this bottom pin is, but it's gonna be different for everybody because it depends on your draw length, your arrow weight, your speed of your bow, all the factors, because you can't move it, it just kinda of is. So it could be 53 yards for me and it could be 47 for you. Yeah, so overall, I'm pretty stoked. I got this sweet marketplace Facebook find. Um, like I said, I got it for a steal and it is absolutely, you guys have seen the arrows. It's not like the arrows are going through all the way. I have one arrow poking out the other side. So, like this target has a ton of life left in it. Stoked about that. Uh, gonna shoot this UV housing for a little bit, see how I like it. Might go back to that HHA one because I like having the option to move all my pins. Even though I do take my 50 yard pin and put it right over the top of the bubble anyways. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Catch you in the next one.